Board book of Octavius, captain of the Tortius. The morning entry for the twelfth day in the month of Mars in the fourth year of the godlike emperor Travianus Augustus Caesar. The Tortius is on course, driven by a wind from the southwest. Tomorrow we will have crossed the treacherous sea of storms. If all goes well, we will have reached the Latonic provinces in four days. The second entry on the evening of the same day. Clouds are gathering on the horizon. We are still on the sea of storms. I am praying to all the gods. We are expecting a long and dark night. The morning entry for the 18th day of the month of Mars. The storm pounced upon us like a predator in the night, and I had to throw out the drag anchor. For four terrible nights, the wind drove us deep into the darkness. The lookout was the first to notice the danger when a lightning bolt illuminated the fatally close rocks. The Tortius no longer exists. What remains of my trusty ship is now driftwood on the sandy coastal bank of this unknown island. The stars tell me that we are nowhere near the familiar trading routes. We cannot hope to be found soon. But let the gods be thanked, we are still alive, and the island appears to be fruitful. We still do not know if we are the only people here. Welcome everyone, Atnidi here. Today I want to start this new project of mine. Let's play the Settlers 2 the Gold Edition. Now, the Settlers 2 was released in 1996 by Blue Byte Software and it's a real-time strategy game that I used to play a lot when I was a child. Now the game uh, the campaign, world campaign, uh, well, some things. And it has uh, split screen multiplayer, actually, I think. That's rather uncommon for the RTS genre that this game resides in. So, uh, my plan is to play the Roman campaign. And. I hope you will enjoy it. So, if you find that you want to experience this game for yourself, uh, there's a version available on GOG.com and uh, it's easy to install for, for uh, newer Windows versions. And yeah, I hope you will enjoy. So, about the gameplay, I guess you will see once we dive into it. Um, now, options, we don't have much here. Um, actually, mouse one. I think there should be two mouse options for the uh, two player thing. Where, where is that? I can't find it. Unlimited play. Oh yeah, probably here, in-game, yeah, 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 here, you can play both human, uh, yeah, let's just start for now, if it works, ah, there we go, as you can see, split-screen multiplayer, now that's rather uncommon now, isn't it? So, I only have one mouse connected, that means only 
I can only control the left one. So, um, I don't know who is familiar with this game, but uh, the basics is, uh, well, we build buildings, we connect them up with roads, and uh, everything else kind of plays out. As you can see here, guys are coming. Yeah. So uh, here, as you can see, if I press the V button, I can speed up thing because the game would be rather annoying to, to, to play and watch if it wasn't sped up. So, yeah, that's the basics. Here you can uh, see buildings, uh, small, medium, large buildings, right? Um, yeah, and then you play like this. So... I think this concludes this uh, introduction, actually. Uh, well, how can I... Uh, can I not go back to the... Q? P? I oh, have no idea how I can uh, go back to... Ah, here, game menu. Yes, so... Uh, I think this... Oh god, this is annoying. Um, as I said, I will play uh, through this 10 scenarios, basically. We have seen in the intro that uh, we are kind of in a, in a bind, right? Uh, our ship sunk. And, well, we will see how this will turn out. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you will enjoy this uh, uh, series with me. Um, this is a short intro. Uh, this was the short intro and um, yeah let's I hope I see you again in the next in the first episode of let's play settlers 2 with me at Nidhi.